My name is Sak Joo from Korea University. And today I'm, go I'm going to talk about a machine learning based uh, pro adaptive program analysis. And this is co-work with Hong Sak from Oxford and Kwang Geun from Seoul National University. And one of the great challenges in static analysis is how to achieve the scalability and precision in a single static analyzer. So as a result, existing sound static analysis tools, can, can you hear me? So as a result, existing sound static analysis tools are typically divided into two groups, compromising either the precision or scalability. And the long-term goal of my research is to achieve the both scalability and precision at the same time and in this paper, we present a new machine learning based technique for achieving this goal. For achieving this goal. So let me describe the problem more concretely with an example of flow sensitive analysis. So suppose we analyze this program with an interval domain. So in the program, the variables x and y are initially zero, and the variable z is initially one. So the analysis computes an abstract state where the variables x and y have interval value 0 and the variable z have interval value 1. And then we update the value of x by we update the value of x by the value of z and at the subsequent statements we increment the value of z by 1 and update the value of y by x by x. And at the last statement, we have an assertion here, and the assertion checks if the variable y is greater than zero. And the goal of the static analysis is to prove that this assertion always holds during the program execution. And in this case, we can prove this property because the analysis results here at the point of the assertion says that the value of y is one, and one is always, always greater than zero. And in this example, we say the analysis is flow sensitive because it, it computes different abstract states at each different program point. And a flow sensitive analysis can be said precise in general because it is likely to prove the assertion here, as in this example. But the problem is that it is quite costly to separately analyze all the program points like this. On the other hand, a flow insensitive analysis takes a quite crude approach. So instead of computing different abstract states at each different program point, the analysis just computes a single abstract state like this, which is valid for all program points. For example, an interval domain based flow insensitive analysis computes this abstract state for this example program, where the variables x and y have interval 0 to infinity, and variable z has 1 to infinity. And of course, this analysis is very cheap and scaled to large programs. But the problem now is that this analysis is typically too imprecise to be useful. So for example, in this case, with this analysis results, we cannot prove the assertion here. So our goal is to strike the balance between the flow sensitive analysis and flow insensitive analysis by selectively applying the flow sensitivity only to some selected set of program variables. So for instance, in this case, we apply the flow sensitivity to the single variable x and apply the flow insensitivity to the remaining variables y and z, which means that we, separate, we keep the separate results for variable x and, but for the variables y and z, we just compute a single result that is valid, valid over the entire program. And this way, we can increase the analysis, the analysis precision of the flow insensitive analysis with a small extra cost. However, the, the challenge here is that the effectiveness of this approach highly depends on the selection of the program variables here to employ flow sensitivity. For instance, in this case, this analysis cannot prove this assertion because the value of y is still imprecise. So 
let's try to be precise for variable y. That is, we apply the flow sensitivity to the variable y and flow insensitivity to, to other variables x and z. So can we prove the assertion here? The answer is no. Even though we keep separate analysis results for the variable y, uh, we still fail to prove the assertion because the final value of y here is still imprecise. And this is the same for the other variable z. Applying flow sensitivity only to variable z does not prove the, the assertion here. So we conclude we have to, analyst, we have to choose and analyst two variables. And here we apply the flow sensitivity to the two variables y and z and flow insensitivity to the remaining variable x. If we analyze this program with this configuration, we obtain this result. And of course, this result is more precise than before, but it is still not precise enough to prove the assertion. But if we are lucky and choose the variables x and y together, then we finally succeed to prove the assertion. So our goal in this paper is to find such a small yet effective set of program variables before running the static analysis. But as you have seen, this problem of finding such a good program abstraction in static analysis is turned out to be extremely challenging. This is because first, the abstraction space in static analysis is typically very large, if not infinite. For instance, in flow sensitivity, we have exponentially many different subsets of program variables. And the most serious problem is that most of the abstractions in static analysis are too imprecise or, or too costly. For example, in flow sensitive, in our example program, we have these eight different abstractions, but among them, only the two cases, xy and xyz, succeed to prove the assertion. But the last one is not good because it simply means that we apply the flow sensitivity to all the variables in the program. So our current research focus is in addressing this problem. And our first result was presented in PLDI last year, where we proposed the idea of impact pre-analysis. And in this approach, we first run a pre-analysis that estimates the impact of, impact of high precision, such as flow sensitivity, of the main analysis. So the pre-analysis returns a set of program variables, and the main analysis applied flow sensitivity only to those variables determined by the pre-analysis. So I think this idea is quite interesting, but one drawback of this approach is that we have to manually specify and design this pre-analysis for each different kind of main analysis. And in this paper, we present our second result where the precision improving strategy can be automatically learned from existing code base. And our approach, our learning based approach is simple and consists of three phases. First, we define a, an adaptation strategy S, which is, which is parameterized by some parameter W. And the W is uh, just simply a vector of real numbers. And this strategy S takes a program P and returns an abstraction of the program. And for example, in flow sensitivity, the abstraction is a set of program variables. And here, the set of the program variables, the, the, the variables is entirely determined by the parameter W of the strategy. So with a good parameter W, the strategy S returns a good, good set of program variables. And with a bad parameter W, the strategy returns of program variables for which applying flow sensitivity has no effect on improving precision. So our goal here is to learn a good parameter W from the existing code base. And the code base here is just a simply collection of programs, P1 through PM. And from this code base, 
we are going to extract some parameter w that maximize the performance of the strategies. And, and then for a new program p, we first instantiate the strategies with the parameter w found in the code base, and then analyze the program p by applying flow sensitivity only to those variables determined by the strategies. So we implemented this approach in Sparrow on interval domain-based static analyzer for C and evaluated its effectiveness with some open source, open source programs. And the results show that our approach produced some strategy that has good balance between precision and cost. And regarding the precision, if, the, if we normalize the precision of the flow sensitive analysis to 100 and normalize the flow insensitive analysis to zero, then the selective flow sensitive analysis found by approach has a precision between has, has, has a precision around 70, which means that among the all provable assertions in the program that require flow sensitivity, we can prove the 70% of them. And in doing so, our selective flow sensitive analysis increased the analysis time of the flow insensitive analysis only by two times. But the full flow sensitive analysis increased the analysis time of the flow insensitive analysis by 18 times. So from now, I'm going to introduce our technique in more detail. We assume that the static analyzer F takes two parameters, a program P to analyze and its abstraction. And abstraction here is, uh, for example, a set of variables for flow sensitivity. And we further assume that the static analyzer returns an integer, a natural number, which indicates the number of proved assertions in the program P. And recall that the main part of our approach has two steps, the parameterized strategy S and the learning, the parameter, parameter W of the strategy from the code base. I will explain each of these steps in more detail. First, the parameterized strategy. The strategy takes a program P and returns a set of program variables. And in, this, in our strategy, the return value, the, the set of program variables, is determined by these three steps. First, we represent the program variable as a feature vector. And, and then we compute the score of each variable. And finally, we choose the top k variables based on their scores. Because our, our method is based on machine learning, we assume that a set of program feature is given. And in flow sensitivity, a feature, this feature is a predicate of a variable. For instance, in this case, we have five features, f1, f2, through f5 and each of which is a predicate of a variable, which means that fi here is a function from variables to Boolean values. And in experiments, we used 45 simple syntactic features for flow sensitivity. For example, some features may describe local variables or global variables, and some other features may describe some variables that are passed to or returned from some memory allocation functions, and so on. So given this set of program features, the first step of the strategy is to represent each variable as a feature vector. So for instance, when we have five features, a variable x can be represented by a vector of f1x, f2x through f5x. And in the rest of this talk, I. I'm going to assume that the feature vector of x is this, and y and z can be represented by these feature vectors. And the second step of the strategy is, is scoring. In our approach, the parameter w is a vector of real, real numbers, and it, the parameter w has the same dimension as the feature vector. So when we have five features, the w has the real number the, uh, consists of five real numbers. So given this parameter, we can compute the score of variable by a linear combination of the feature vector and the parameter. F 
for instance, the score of the variable x is computed by inner, co inner product of the feature vector of x and the parameter, the parameter w, and which is 0 0.3. And similarly, the score of y is 0 0.6, and score of g is 0 0.1. And the final step of the strategy is to choose the top k variables based on the score. So when k is 2, among the variables x, and x, y, and z, we choose the variables x and y because they have the highest scores. And in experiments, we have chosen 10% of the variables with highest scores, which means that we apply flow sensitivity to the sum 10% of the entire variables. The second step of our approach is to learn a good parameter w from the existing code base. And in this approach, learning a good parameter w from the code base corresponds to solving this optimization problem. For, we have to find some parameter w that maximize the number of proved assertions over the entire code base. But it is impossible to mathematically solve this optimization problem because the objective function here involved running the static analysis of the entire code base. So the best way we can do is to solve this problem approximately. And perhaps the most simple way to solve it approximately is the random sampling. And in the random sampling, we repeat the loop n times, and we repeatedly pick some random parameter w and evaluate the objective function with the current w and see how many assertions in the code base are proved. And repeat this, we repeat this procedure for n times and return the best, best parameter w found during this entire random process. So this is simple, simple algorithm, but we found that this random sampling method is extremely inefficient for learning a static analysis parameter. In experiments, most of the randomly sampled parameters have very poor qualities, which means, which means most of the parameters prove none of the assertions in the program. So in, in order to find some high quality parameter, we have to evaluate the objective function many times, but this is impos impossible in our case because the ob evaluating the objective function involved running the static analysis of the entire code base multiple times. So in this paper, we propose to use alternative approach using Bayesian optimization. Bayesian optimization is a powerful method for solving difficult optimization problem, especially when the objective function is very expensive to evaluate. But, but its key idea is very simple. It uses up some probabilistic model to reduce and minimize the number of objective function evaluations. So the learning algorithm via Bayesian, Bayesian, optimization, Bayesian optimization looks like this. We repeat the loop the n times. And instead of picking the w randomly, we select a promising w using the probabilistic model and then evaluate the objective function, and then update the probability model with the current parameter w and the corresponding number of proved assertions. And finally, we return the best parameter w found. And in Bayesian optimization, we have to choose some parameters, which is the prob probability model and the strategy to select the next parameter to evaluate and we used some standard option for them, namely the Gaussian process and expected improvement. And according to our experience, the, according to our, our experience, the Bayesian optimization significantly outperforms the random sampling process. So for example, with Bayesian optimization, most of the parameters found have high qualities, proving more than 70% of the assertions in the programs. As a result, we can find a better, a, a good parameter 
with Bayesian optimization, we can find a good parameter without evaluating the objective function many times. But on the other hand, the random sampling process, random sampling method, converges to a precision around 50. So I'm going to introduce the experiment in more detail. We use the Sparrow, which is a systematic analyzer for buffer volume checking. And I explained our approach in terms of flow sensitivity, but our approach is very general and can be applicable to any precision improving techniques. And in experiments, we used our technique for flow sensitivity and context sensitivity. And for flow sensitivity, we choose 10% of the program variables. And for context sensitivity, we choose the 10% of procedures. And we randomly divided the 30 open source C programs into 20 training set and 10 testing set. And repeated this experiment for five times. And in total, in the testing set, our selective flow sensitive analysis can prove the 70% of the assertions that require flow sensitivity. But in doing so, it increased the analysis cost by 1.7 times. But on the other hand, the full flow sensitivity increased the analysis time by more than 17 times. And with the context sensitivity, our selectively flow sensitive and context sensitive analysis can prove the 75% of the assertions that can, that can be proved by full flow sensitive and context sensitive analysis. But in doing so, our analysis increased the analysis cost just by 3.3 times. But the full flow sensitive and context sensitive analysis increased the analysis cost by more than 100 times. And other than performance, our method also provides some novel insights on flow sensitivity. And actually, the final parameter W shows the relative importance between program features. And in this case, this figure shows the relative importance between the 45 features for flow sensitivity. And the results show that the feature number 28 and number 1 and 32 are most important for predicting flow sensitivity, which are ex respectively features used as an array index and local variable and modified inside loops. For example, in this program, our method correctly prescribed the variable i, which is needed in flow sensitivity, because i is a local variable and modified inside loops and used as an array index. And also, Time is up. Okay. And also our method also provides novel insights that are difficult to find otherwise. For instance, in this case, the flow sensitive analysis can prove the safety of the array, on, array access at line three because of the condition at line two. And we found this programming pattern in the early stage of this work. And we conjectured that the feature negated in conditional expression would be important for predicting flow sensitivity. But this conjecture was not true. After running our algorithm over the entire code base, we found that this programming program pattern was just a corner case. And over the entire code, code base, this pattern is not, is not dominant. So I'd like to summarize this talk. We presented uh, the first machine learning based approach for adapting a program analysis. And in this approach, we formulate the adapting a program analysis as an optimization problem. And we, so we propose to solve this optimization problem by Bayesian optimization. And our method is effective. And it is generally applicable to any static analysis. Okay. Thanks very Let's much. Thank the speaker. Questions? Questions?